One of the standout new features found in Windows 10 and 11 is the addition of Cortana. For those unfamiliar, Cortana is a voice-activated personal assistant. Think of it as Siri, but for Windows. Lately, many users of Windows 11 installed the operating system believing it no longer includes Cortana. This is not quite right. Cortana is included but isn't activated by default. Here's how to install Cortana in Windows 10 and definitely in Windows 11 and how it has changed in Microsoft's new operating system. As mentioned earlier, Cortana is installed in Windows 11 but not active by default. You must launch and sign in to the Cortana app before you can use it. First, perform a Windows search for Cortana. Search. Alternatively, you can launch Windows Start, tap All Apps, scroll down, and you should have Cortana here. Click on it to open it. The Cortana app will open and display a sign-in prompt. Select Sign-in and enter your credentials. If you already signed into the computer using your Microsoft account, you can just you just press it and that's it. If not, you can use a different account. You have options to create a new Microsoft account or a work or school account. I already have an account. I'm just going to sign in. Continue. A screen will appear to one you Cortana need access to personal information to function. Just select accept and continue. The Cortana app will launch. You can now activate Cortana using the Cortana phrase or by entering text into the Cortana app. Be sure Cortana is also enabled in the voice activation area of settings so that Cortana will wake when you speak. To do this, click the settings icon located on the left side of the window. There you're going to find two options. One is for microphone and the other is for voice activation. Click on microphone. All required permissions are turned on in microphone. For voice activation, you need to turn on the voice activation. Click on this. You haven't turned on all required permission. So you have instructions here. You open voice activation privacy settings, allow apps to use voice activations, turn on, let Cortana respond to Cortana word. So let's open voice activation privacy settings. So here we have apps that have requested voice activation access. You turn it on. Now going back to Cortana, you can see voice activation has been activated. You can now go about using your computer as you normally would. And whenever you need Cortana to perform a task, start by saying Cortana followed by your command. You have to continue with your command immediately after the activation prompt instead of waiting for Cortana to load and indicate that it's listening. What can you do with Cortana in Windows? To use Cortana, you will need to sign in with your personal Microsoft account or your work or school account. Another thing worth mentioning is that Cortana doesn't understand Spanish, at least not for now. Maybe in some later updates when you can set a specific country, then you can speak in that country's language. Having clarified that, if you're not sure what to say to Cortana, try asking, what can you do? Here are some of the things you can do with Cortana in Windows. Calendar and Schedule Assistance Cortana can help you manage your calendar. After you sign into Cortana, you can connect your personal calendar or your work or school calendar so you can always keep track of your schedules. You might want to try. Cortana, am I free at 4.30 p.m.? You don't have anything scheduled for today. Cortana, what's next on my calendar? As far out as I can see, you don't have any events coming up. 
okay so what probably is happening there is I don't have anything on my calendar what do you have to do just open your calendar and start using it Cortana open the calendar app okay so this is the calendar you just have to start filling it in and that's it Cortana can help you quickly join an online meeting in Microsoft Teams try Hey Cortana, join my meeting. Actually, there aren't any meetings to join. So for you to be able to join a meeting, you need to have it on your calendar. And when you need to know who's in your next meeting or when your next meeting is with a specific person, you can ask Cortana for help. Try. Hey Cortana, who's my next meeting with? As far out as I can see, you don't have any events coming up. Hey Cortana, when is my next meeting with Lydia? Who are you asking about? Who did you want? Lydia. Sorry, who did you want? Maite. As far out as I can see, you don't have any events coming up. Okay, so for you to have a meeting, you need to have it in your calendar. You can also use natural language to create a meeting in a single step. Try. Hey Cortana, book a meeting with Natalie at 8 a.m. I'm sorry, I'm not getting it. Help me complete this. Cortana, book a meeting with Natalie at 8 a.m. Which email for Natalie or? Okay, so you have. Which one did you want? It's going to give you this option and you choose which one you want and Cortana is going to do that for you. When you're signed in with your work or school account, Cortana can help you learn about people in your organization. You can try. Hey Cortana, who's Alex? Hey Cortana, who's Carl's boss? Sorry, I can't help with that. So I don't have none of these people in my calendar. They're in my school's calendar. And since I'm not signing my school's calendar, Cortana can't find information about them. Cortana makes it easy to keep track of everything that needs to get done. Use the reminders icon or say, remind me to get started. You can create a reminder and have Cortana remind you about something at a specific time. When you get to a specific location or when you talk to a specific person, you can ask Cortana to create a new list or add something to a list that you already have. You can try. Hey Cortana, add call Maite at 1 p.m. about our classes to my task list. I added that to your tasks list. For Cortana to be able to do that, you need to have your to-do task updated or activated in your Windows system. And when you need to update or delete a task, just go into the to-do app on your PC or mobile device to see and edit all of your lists. You can also ask Cortana to set a reminder or an alarm when you need to get something done. So let's go to a to-do list. Hey Cortana. Open Microsoft to do. All right. This is Microsoft to do and I have my tasks right here. And when you need to update or delete a task, just go into the to do app on your PC or mobile device to see and edit all of your list. You can also ask Cortana to set a reminder or an alarm when you need to get something done. You can try. Hey Cortana. Remind me to pick up diapers after work at 5 p.m. I've saved your reminder in Microsoft to do. Hey Cortana, set an alarm for 3 p.m. Sure thing, I've turned on your alarm for 3 p.m. on. Hey Cortana, remove my alarm for 3 p.m. Sure thing. I've turned off your alarm for 3 p.m. on. Hey Cortana. Remind me to take my pill at 8 p.m. 
I've saved your reminder in Microsoft to do. Hey Cortana, remove pickup di diapers after work from my to-do list. To delete your tasks, you'll need to edit in Microsoft to do. To delete it, I'm gonna have to come here and pick what I don't want. You can save time by asking Cortana to open an app on your computer. Try. Hey Cortana, open Wi-Fi settings. I'll open Wi-Fi settings. Hey Cortana, open Microsoft PowerPoint. All right, I'll open Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. So it's right here already open. Cortana can perform quick calculations too. Remember that you can type into the Cortana search box too. You don't have to speak long numbers. You can either ask Cortana for the answer to a math calculation. For example, hey Cortana, multiply 324 by five. Multiply 324 by 5 is 1,620. Or you can enter a unit conversion, for example, Hey Cortana, change 55 pounds to dollars. 55 pounds sterling equals 63.29 US dollars. Hey Cortana, how much is $1,000 in pounds? 1,000 US dollars equals 868.70 pounds sterling. This works for currencies as well as other types of units. When you need to know the meaning of a word or just you need a quick answer for something, or let's just say you need to find some facts, you can just ask Cortana for help. It can provide direct answers to most common questions. You can ask a question like, Hey Cortana, what is the tallest building in the world? The Burj Khalifa, known as the Burj Dubai prior to its inauguration in 2010. Hey Cortana, who is the current president of the United States? Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. is an American politician who is the... Hey Cortana, how tall is the Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower is a wrought iron lattice tower. Okay, you can just go here and look for more information for Bing. Hey Cortana, what's the definition of deciduous? Deciduous means shedding its leaves annually. Cortana can send emails using a built-in mail app and the accounts you've configured there. Just say send email to get started. Don't forget the keyword or say something more specific like send email to Pete if that's a person in your contacts. Hey Cortana, send email. All right, who's the email going to? Danielle Lopez. Sorry, I couldn't find Danielle Lopez in your contacts. Who's the email going to? Danny. Which one do you want to email? Danny and Tara. Okay, what should the email say? See you tomorrow. Okay, here's what I've got. Ready to send it? Cancel. Canceled. Tana also supports alarms, not just reminders. You need to have the alarm and clock app activated for this. Ask Cortana to set alarm for a specific time and it will create an alarm for you. Hey Cortana. Set alarm time for 8 o'clock Saturday. Sure thing, I've turned on your alarm for 8 a.m. on. The alarm is saved in the Alarms and Clock app where you can manage your alarms. We can just go there right now and remove the alarm or we can just tell Cortana to remove it. Let's try each of them. Cortana, open the Alarms and Clock app. All right. And that's the Alarm and Clock time. So this is the alarm I have saved for tomorrow. I can just tell Cortana to remove it or I can do it myself. Hey Cortana, remove alarm set for eight o'clock. Sure, I've turned off your alarm for 8 a.m. on. And that's it. You can also use Cortana to quickly check the weather in different locations. You can try saying, hey Cortana, 
Is it going to rain tomorrow? No, don't expect rain. The forecast tomorrow shows a high of 92 and a low of 75. You can also ask Cortana for the latest news. Hey Cortana, what are the top headlines? I've got this for you on what are the top headlines. Hey Cortana, what time is it in Miami? It's 11 p.m. in Miami. Hey Cortana, what time is it in Chile? It's 11 p.m. in Santiago. Like Siri, Cortana can chat about things and respond to silly questions with snappy answers. Give an instruction like tell me a story, tell me a joke, sing me a song, or surprise me. Let's try it. Hey Cortana, tell me a story. Once, there was a beginning. Soon after, there was a middle. The end. Cortana, tell me a joke. What's red and invisible? No tomatoes. Hey Cortana, sing me a song. I'd rather rock arithmetic than rock out in song. Ask something like, what's 365 divided by 52? Hey Cortana, surprise me. Seen any good presentations lately? Try saying, open my recent PowerPoints. Ask Cortana for help and you see a list of things you can do with Cortana. This will show you a more complete list. Let's try. Cortana, help. I can help you explore your options. Say, open settings. Cortana, open settings. I'll open settings. Cortana can do lots of things. It can listen to a song playing near you and identify it. It can scan your emails from accounts configured in the mail app to detect track flight and package shipping information and notify you about its current status and estimated arrival. As it can ask for directions to a location using the included Windows Maps app with directions to your location of choice. Let us know in the comments below what your experience with Cortana has been and don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos